Today is Saturday, August 29th, the Saturday morning of the Traverse Stakes, the centerpiece of the meet here at Saratoga Racecourse. Uh, it's been raining all night here. Uh, the track is sure to be extremely wet right now. Uh, as the rain is abating right now, we'll see if it dries out at all by post time, which is about 5.50 today. Uh, the Traverse turns out to be an extraordinarily competitive race. Many horses returning from the Triple Crown Trail. We've got Quality Road. We've got Summer Bird, winner of the Belmont Stakes. Uh, we've got Charitable Man. We've got Kenze who won the Jim Dandy Stakes coming here uh, early in the meet at Saratoga. Uh, Brian, t tell us how you, see this, how you see this race playing out today. I see a murderous pace, actually. I see a lot of horses going for the lead, lots of speed early on. I think only quality road speed will hold till the end. Okay, and who exactly is going to be vying for that lead? Well, I see, I see Nick Zito's horse, Our Edge, getting out to the front. Uh, Warrior's Reward. Coming in second in the Jim Dandy will probably be real close to the pace, as well as Charitable Man, Kieran McLaughlin's horse. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a little duel set up front there, with Quality Road probably just stalking off that pace, and then you'll have the, the second tier of, of closers. Okay, let's quickly talk about Summer Bird, the winner of the Belmont Stakes. Uh, in the Haskell Stakes, his running style was compromised a little bit. He was forced to chase Rachel Alexandra, mm -hmm. Chase Munnings early just to, just to keep in touch on the Monmouth racetrack surface. And he finished quite well, even though being beat quite handily by, uh, by the champion Philly. Um, ha, ha, what do you think of his chances today? I think Summer Bird has a great chance today. I think that race, that experience in that race will help him today. He, he had a huge effort, obviously, winning the Belmont Stakes, going the mile and a half, so you know the distance will be no problem. I just think that he kind of regressed just a little bit in the slop that day against, you know, the super Philly Rachel Alexandra. And today, I sort of feel like he is sitting on a very, very big effort, and he, to me, looms a very big chance to win this race. Okay, I, I know that you're high on a horse uh, that was uh, on the Triple Crown Trail, uh, Hold Me Back. He's really, a, you know, as people are kind of like uh, likening to be a synthetics um, specialist in, in a sense and he's going to hit the slop today or hit at least a wet tr wet off track what do you think of hold me back's chances well you know hold me back's breeding i mean he's by sire of sire's giants causeway out of an unbridled song mare so he can he can run in the slop i think it, it might even be just muddy but i feel like hold me back is a he's a lightly raced horse he's big he'll be closing hence the early quick pace Julian Leparu getting the mount for the first time ever. I feel like Bill Mott would not put Hold Me Back in the Traverse today if he didn't expect him to run big. Okay, so how, how are you going to play this race? I mean, on Hold Me Back, you're obviously going to get some odds. Uh, it looks like it's such a competitive field that, you know, basically any horse in the race can win this thing. Um, True. It, re it really could go to anybody. How are you going to play it? Well, it could, but I'm going to I'm going to eliminate a lot of those speed balls from the start, and I think Quality Road is the only one that can stick around. So I'm going to do a two dollar exacto box with three horses, I think, and I'm going to use the one Hold Me Back as my long shot bomb, and I'm going to use the four Quality Road, and I'm going to use the Belmont winner, the six Summer Bird. Okay, so Brian's uh, Brian's put, set the plate for you. Uh, there's box car numbers if he's right, so <laughs> hit the windows. Thank you.